Hi hey guys, it's me, UB Programmer, and in this video, we will see how we can deploy a function, a Python function in the Google Cloud. Uh, before that, if you are working on any custom project, you want to deploy your app, your functions, anything uh, technical blockers, you can let me know on the WhatsApp or contact me through this email address to talk about that and I can contribute in your projects. Okay. Uh, let's get started with the uh, video. You have to create a project. I hope uh, everyone has a project in the GCP. Uh, my project name is Calendar Web. I was working on something related to calendars, but nothing uh, related to it. Okay. Uh, function, uh, you have to search for it here in the search bar. You will get a cloud function. Uh, okay now here you will see uh, maybe you will see create function right in the middle but that's not the uh, issue right uh, because i have one function already running uh, that's why i'm getting this listed here uh, you have to do create a function give your function a name uh i think it will be uh better if i can show you what function we want to deploy okay let's just jump right into it uh my function name will be uh youtube demo i will just doing it for the sake of youtube demo and the region whatever is closer to you so that's up to you for selection but mine will be Delhi one because that is the closest I can get in the trigger I will allow unauthenticated invocations that do not require any authentication with the password and cookies and stuff right uh because i will be using this function directly from my postman client okay click on next you will get a option to select runtime i will be using python so i will use some version of python 3.11 i like to use a one version previous than the latest because that is more stable in my opinion okay now this is the function but let's just get rid of all this jungle mangle okay. i am okay cool. so this is the function and hello http is the name of your function requirements in this you can specify all the requirements main.py will be file which will run this function request will get all your parameters so if we want to send something in the body i can just request your data and i can get that let's something from uh, i will be sending is my name as a variable and i will show that i will receive this variable my name in my function so let's see how we can do that I will say data received. I hope it is clear, but yeah. Data received is request to get data. Request your form. Okay. Yeah. Because I'll be sending this data from home uh, package of Postman. And my name will be data received and in that i will get a key with my variable name my name okay so now i have my name in the data i can just print it print my name and i will be returning this also so let's create a f string 
I will not be using this format thing. I don't use it. Uh, yeah. And yes, so hello and my name. This should work. And let's write something. I am from GCP. I don't know, something like that. Cool. Let's deploy it. This right below the function of deploy. Let's do that. Okay, creating function YouTube demo. And this is the function. I hope I haven't done something silly here. Okay, YouTube demo building in the progress. Service is pending. This will be completed the moment it get done building. Let's copy this path. This is the URL, unique URL for the function. And let's give it to the postman. I am doing a post request with the home data, my name, Obed. I should get hello, Obed. I'm from GCP, something like that. Okay, build is finished. But the service is still in progress. Let's see if it gets done. Okay, cool. I think we are good to go. There are many options variable trigger, logs. I will be exploring that also. But let's see if we are good with the function. Okay, so hello, Beth. I am from GCP. Right what we have uh, written in the cloud function this function is now accessible through any internet of the world right okay so in the variables i can define some variables which i will be using uh, from my function like open ai keys uh, i think all of them have to use that okay and in the logs i can see the logs of my function I should see the print statement. Yes, I have printed my name. So this is here and this was the post request I have just uh, sent. Let me do it once more. You will see duplication of these two right below. It should be. Yes. So it is working real time and you can specify the uh code by going edit this function and in the code option you can specify the code whatever you want to write in here okay that's cool i hope this makes sense and this will help a lot of uh beginners okay so that's it for uh, this video i'll meet you in the next one thanks for watching